couple guys. I had the GoPro going to watch Brad work over on the boom, but he just took off. So oh, yeah. he forgot come the and, GoPro. Come and join me, sorry. I'm back to the old tricks. Welcome to the channel. We are all back here. Well, when I say all, it's just just the uh, three brothers, Brad, Phil, and I. And I think Robbo's popped up to get some shocks on his ute. But um, yeah, Josiah's back down rock picking, and I think Johnny's a little bit unwell today, so he's not going to be here. But Phil's crackling away there on the welder, um, still welding up some of the cracks and things. I am actually currently just going to pull his boom off. Um, so I've got all the hoses and things off already so we can see down here it's all flogged out quite badly in there which we've known for quite for quite a while but um, yeah it's a fairly decent job to fix it so we've got some new eyelets to go get welded on there but yeah we've got to pull this off and then we'll be doing the other side as well so um, yeah there's a little bit still to go on with and I think Phil is yeah, there's quite a few gussets that we're going to put in, so hopefully it doesn't happen again. How's it looking, Phil? Mm, all right, I hope. At least the ones you can easily see don't look too bad. Yeah, right. Don't, don't go digging too hard. Let's find the worst one, will we? Yeah, this one is probably the worst one. Looks all right. <laughs> oh, whatever, Phil. <laughs> yeah, hopefully... Uh, We've got enough MIG wire to finish our <laughs> Hopefully we've got a spare roll. Look out everyone, Brad's got fire. See if you can get Phil with the spark, Brad. Try and get him. Oh, not me. GoPro going to watch Brad work over on the boom, but he just took off. So oh, yeah. he forgot come the and, GoPro. Come and join me, sorry. I'm back to the old tricks. He's uh in the moment. He just forgot all about you. I left you. So I'll I'll you there. there. So what I'm trying to do is make that fit in there. So that was a bush that come out of the old one of these. So that goes in there like that, but yeah, as you can see, that is no longer round or attached. So I need to take a mill out. Forty thousand. Forty thousandths of an inch. You go down there. That equals one millimeter. Interesting fun fact. The hair on your head is about two thousand, two thousandths of an inch. So uh, there you go. Radio. 
Brad's just finishing off on those little bush, uh, those bushes, and I think um, we've only got a couple more welds to go, and gusset it like gussets and brackets and that to go, mainly on the boom section there, where Phil is. And um, yeah, then all the welding should just about be done. Um, but I'm gonna have a crack at replacing this one. Um, it is obviously flogged out as you can see. We do have spare ones of these. Um, but the biggest problem is, is that they're usually seized in that. So I might even get a bit of brake fluid or um, yeah, just a bit of penetrating oil into that now and let that sit for a little bit. Probably should have done that a long time ago, but um, yeah, then hopefully that is just a matter of unbolting that and putting a new one in. Um, hopefully it's as easy as that, but my experience with these things is that is not always as easy as that. Well, we've got the new one of these in. Whoop, that's helpful. So we've got the new one of these in. Um, and yeah, Brad just quickly turned up a bush to, um, yeah, put in there so we can tighten that up. And this will be done. Um, then I've just got to weld up a little bit, or fill weld up a little bit down the other end. Um, and then this can go on. So I've got this welded on. Um, so yeah, that's looking all nice and nice and sturdy.
Well guys, the GoPro is nearly out of memory storage and battery. Um, but what we've got here, we're basically doing the same thing as what we did on the other side. So Brad's just getting the oxy. We're gonna have to cut this one out that's seized in there. Phil's on his little perch, just uh, putting together a... Enjoying the nice warm weather. Yeah. So you know it's bad when you've got to wear welding gloves to hold onto the... Well, I was just halfway through saying that you know it's bad when you have to wear welding gloves to hold onto the tools. Um, so yeah, it's quite hot. The sun's got a bit of, bit of bite to it. Um, we can't fit this in the shed fully, so we're just, yeah, we're, we're burning our hands, having fun. So Brad's, oh, you, you, you start, you, you're doing a new thing, you're just going to cut the, I'm trying a new thing. Cut the thing straight off. Cut it off, then we'll get into there properly. Yeah, right, eh? So try that, it should be able to side shift and it should oh, that, come off. That'll hopefully. probably be easier than, oh, I thought, maybe so. We'll see. Better. I've got a fresh, fresh battery in here, so I'm ready to waste some more time. Well, I think we're all slowly losing voltage, getting towards the end of the day. The sun is shining hot and um, yeah, everything we touch is hot. But we are just on the finishing touches of, well, not far off actually putting the other boom back on here. So I'll show you, I don't think I actually showed you on the other one, but we've got this little washer here and it's V'd out there so we can get a good weld in on there and that sits there. And that's where, um, I just gotta get the right distance. So I'm currently just smashing away at that to try to get the right distance, but that is what that is down there and um, yeah that means that it's all the bolt there pushes all that together and yeah I think that should go a long way to well it will remove all the slop in that so just a couple of finishing touches um, and then this will be right to weld in a couple of little cracks here that we've got to weld um, but that'll be just about it then the boom can go on I'll have the pressure of the camera. That's right. That uh, needs... Better make this one your best weld, Phil. Oh. I don't know how to beat the other one. <laughs> Good enough for the bush. <laughs> a bit better than out in the paddock with the stick welder. Back it up. Okay, coming. Coming. Keep coming. Whip. Uh, just go up. Up. Two more. Let's catch it off. Whip. All right. This is going to be interesting, it's very hot. Oh, we need to get it a bit closer. Can I go forward? Yeah, come forward a bit and I might, we might just be able to manhandle it. Am I running over anything? Yeah, it's starting to, but it's alright. 
That'll, that'll do there. Yep. Switch her off. Now we need to somehow hold that up there. Afraid of abandoned us. Skinny dipping down in the thing and bit rude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the boom's not upside down. Well, we've done what we can for today. Um, got all the important bits done that we, um, yeah, other than that, it's just the mucking around, hooking hoses up and stuff, basically. Uh, eventually, the tank will go back in. Everyone's packing up. I conveniently had a phone call uh, while Phil was packing up. He's like a blister. He turns up when the work's all done. <laughs> Better than a pothole. <laughs> so Phil's on the broom, haven't seen that for a while. Well guys, that will be the end of the video. Uh, we'll leave it there and we'll catch you in the next one.